<laughs> okay. So, Rocket has a fly sticky paper, ergo, fly sticky paper stuck to his fucking ass. So this ought to be fun. Stay back, Neo. Headlamp. Headlamp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here. All right, Mommy. Dr. Mommy is about to <laughs> stay. <laughs> yeah, Rocket's all fucked up. Yeah, it's fucking on there. Come close and get a good look at this. <laughs> Shine your light on it. Yeah, what you got on your ass, Rocket? A bunch of dead flies? That's a, that looks like fun. Just rip it off. Yep, it's gonna hurt. Oh, fuck. Yep. Dude, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pretty ridiculous. It's wrapped around his tail. I know what it is. All right. <clears throat> Almost there. And. You want me to send him outside? Come on, Rocket. Throw his ass outside right now. Are you still taping? Oh, yeah. Can you pay? <laughs> Throw his ass outside. He's going to hold on to that now. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you use your fucking feet. So rude. Yep. Yep. Later, dude. Have fun. Look so happy. Go. <laughs> Where'd that gas come from? A truck we're working on. What are you guys doing to the truck? We're making it a diesel. How do you do that? You'll have to wait till later to see. <laughs> you have to subscribe to our videos and watch. And watch the waves walk through the forest Drinking in what the spirit makes Surrounded by the majesty of the ancient redwood groves Down in the Shasta where we're playing In the real white snow track No, we're not going to drive that one Let me go down to the river that's in my dream I go on until I catch sign of the Hallsburg steam Up to my neck in the water just glad to be alive Parked out in Colorado in Farmville and we are packing up. We are about to head to uh, Denver for the We Are Change open mic slash Halloween costume party event whatever thing and I'm excited because there's a bunch of Liberty people that uh, are gonna be there that I haven't spent any time with yet and we're probably only going to be in Colorado for another few days before we hopefully head to Houston. We have another Dash proposal. They did not fund our coming to Colorado, our proposal to come to Colorado, so I wrote another proposal hoping that they will fund uh, our Houston trip for the for the community event. So there's like three days left on the Dash proposal so we'll see how that goes if they don't fund us a second time. I'm not really sure what the purpose of being the Dashmobile is, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll be taking new sponsors. Peace. Why would they strap bombs with them? Because we've been blowing them up for decades and decades. And so until we face that elephant in the room and really address peace and us all live peacefully and learn the non-aggression principle, I think we're gonna have to keep debating about whether or not voting is really mattering. And I know that's a talk we can continue to have because I don't think we're gonna find that as a black and white solution to yes, voting is working or no, voting is not working. I think what gets us all here to the Journeys for Conscious Living Center is that we all have a urge for change, that's what people come to We Are Change meetings for. And we're here tonight to get to learn about different people doing awesome things to the world. And then we got an open mic where people can perform their music and their poetry, sometimes inspired by the stuff we talk about, sometimes not. And sometimes we have rants, sometimes we have comedy, sometimes we have whatever comes up. And so we just offer, once again, you all a chance to get on this mic. Then we go back to the valley of the road where we settled in bread crumbs following so incredible in such a close space that's safe enough to sink roots in. 
traveling up north Olympic Rick Peninsula Rose. Checking out the sea, trying to get some sense of a place on the planet Where people can't just live free Let us be free, like we're living in Liberland It's time for us to all make a stand Counter economics and localized community everyone, Alma here in Colorado. We are currently at the Liberty Lodge where We Are Change resides. We Are Change Colorado, that is. And I am just walking through the backyard where they have part of their garden and growing all kinds of peppers and things like that. And Neo and I are just checking it out and playing around keeps getting into stuff with spider webs some serious spider webs so trying to avoid that hold on so we parked here after the Halloween event it was a lot of fun there were a ton of people from friends that's there so that's really exciting I had no idea that I would be seeing and meeting some of these people you know more than once while we're here on our trip so that was pretty cool and uh, it was pretty exciting getting to see them again. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it for now. The sun's set low over the gardens and we're taking in another day's progress as the kids are playing in the sandbox where they're learning how to reshape the world. Think of all the grand adventures that we've gone on Cruising around the world Trying to wake the automaton Searching for solutions and speaking up to spread the word This is our world It's our responsibility to change things We do have the ability We can all decide to redirect our own lives Only voluntary exchanges are legitimate Non-compliance will in time remove the impediment Of course, will in time Power dominates our world. And now they're going down, and we don't need them anyway. The rest of them compete state systems, and everything works much better when everyone's free. Our change house, otherwise known as the Liberty Lodge, and there we go, we're passing it. And by the freeway, so it's a little bit loud, but not so bad. And we really enjoyed our time there. They have a garden growing, and still have some food to harvest, some peppers, and eggplant, and they have some greens growing, like lettuce and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun getting to meet that crew. It's definitely a uh, very loving, peaceful tribe of people, and I've enjoyed spending time with them in Colorado. And we are on our way to Joby Week's house now. He's actually not in town right this moment. Maybe he will be, he can be at any moment. Uh, we're gonna go meet his dad and park in front of his house for a couple nights. We're just about done with our time here in Colorado and we are still debating whether or not we are going to be headed to Houston or back to Arizona. The DASH proposal that I wrote for the community to go to Houston um, in the middle of the month did not pass. It needed 49 votes still so um, I don't know, I think there's still a chance that it actually could pass before the next um, budget proposal or the, the next budget uh, deadline passes. I'm not exactly sure that works, I'm still trying to figure it out. So when I do, I will let you know and I'll let you know if we get funded late. Hey, you know, I'm totally cool with that and that will help because right now 
we're kind of in a situation where we're going to have to, you know, again, raise funds the old fashioned way we're, we've been working here, but just enough to pay our costs of living, which is food and things like that. So, um, hopefully now, um, you know, we'll just be able to figure out what's next in our path. So we will keep you guys updated. Peace. On the next episode of Undocumented Human, we use a Bitcoin ATM machine. We arrive in Houston and we visit the For the Community event. Uh-huh.